It indeed turned out to be a happy new year in the Granite City as St. Cloud State dropped six unanswered goals on the newest Division I college hockey. St. Cloud State downs Arizona State 6-1 down at the Herb Brooks National Hockey Center, but they did not get it going early on. Jacob Benson's shot goes just wide of the net, and Arizona State would be the ones that would get on the board first. It's Peterson, the captain, gets an unlucky bounce if you're a St. Cloud State fan, gets that one past Charlie Lindgren. Arizona State up 1-0, but the captain for St. Cloud State wasn't having any of that. He he snipes that one in. St. Cloud State ties it up at one apiece. Later in the first, it's Jimmy Murray. Back door from Cali Kosla. St. Cloud State's got a 2-1 to one lead heading into the second period. And in that second period, let's keep the senior thing going. Cali Kosla finds Ethan Prowl. His second goal tonight, fourth of the season. Ethan Prowl puts St. Cloud State up 3-1. to one. Later, the Huskies peppering the net. And Judd Peterson takes it, goes backhand. Huskies with a 4-1 to one lead. It could have been so much more. But Pashevik was making stops like this all night long. Stops Cali Kosla. But St. Cloud State was rolling at this point. Heading into the third period, they would continue to add on to their lead. David Morley behind the net finds his buddy Joey Pennick, who hammers at home. St. Cloud State with a 5-1 lead. 29 seconds left. This one ended up being credited to Patrick Newell, but it doesn't matter. The Huskies get six goals. That's chicken wings for you fans. St. Cloud State wins this one 6-1. Huskies 46 shots on Arizona State's 24. Arizona State goes 0-5 for 5 on the power play as St. Cloud State wins 6-1. Not exactly the start we wanted, but uh, I mean, they kind of got us early, but we knew if we just kind of stuck to the game plan throughout the game and kept working and battling that uh, we'd find ourselves in a good spot. I guess the first period uh, takes some time to get, get back, uh, back on track, and I think that's what happened. But then when we got, uh, got on offense, I think we made some good plays and then uh, got some goals there too. I think they do a great job passing the puck around. Um, even on film we watch it, they got a very good power play. Um, they got good sticks out there, and and when we weren't aggressive, they were they were moving around us. I mean, we worked out some of the kinks uh, that every team's probably going to have uh, coming off a break, but uh, we just started getting back to our game, and uh, we still got to get back to it even more. I mean, I mean, I think it was average game to be honest. Mm -hmm. uh, we can play better because we're a good hockey team. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, but we just, but when we got pucks deep and went low to high, and then got some shots, I mean. That's when we got our chances, so that's what we got to keep doing. I mean, uh, coming coming back tomorrow, we have to play play better and play more of our systems and stuff like that. So there's still still room for improvement. Come. The Huskies pick up six unanswered goals and route to a big win over the Arizona State Sun Devils. These two teams will be back at it tomorrow night, January 2nd, with a puck drop set for 7.07 p.m. And we'll have all your coverage beginning at 7 p.m. right here on Husky Productions Charter Channel 823. So St. Cloud State picks up their first win of the 2016 year. That's going to do it from us here at Husky Productions. Everybody have a great rest of your night.